Hello, I'm Soumya Sen. I will be presenting on sentiment analysis of movie reviews based on various classification techniques. These are the topics I will be covering today. Text mining was a field that interested me a lot. Before choosing my topic, I researched a lot on this and decided to proceed with sentiment analysis. I did a thorough literature survey and finally chose my topic. First, the definitions. A review is the general assessment of a person's experience with a product. Reviews generally tend to contain short text which range from a few words to a few lines. Specifically, in my project, I've considered movie reviews. People assess movies based on various factors, for example, performance, screenplay, story, etc. Previously, we could determine how well a movie was received only based on the reviews by critics. Now, with the advent of social media, we have access to the opinions of everyone. And hence, it has become increasingly important to analyze and understand these opinions. However, there are some issues which need to be addressed while performing such an analysis, namely the sheer volume of data, usage of slang, and eliminating unnecessary and redundant data. In the end, the goal is to understand the general audience's attitude towards a particular film and to also infer previously unobserved trends. In my project, I perform sentiment analysis on the movie dataset. Sentiment analysis is one of the subfields of text mining which is used to find out the views or feelings of the user from the text. This is done by determining the polarity of the movie reviews using various classification techniques. Sentiment analysis is broadly classified into two, namely machine learning approach and lexicon based approach. Machine learning approach is further classified into supervised learning and unsupervised learning. Further classifying supervised, supervised learning, we have decision tree classifiers, linear classifiers, rule-based classifiers, and probabilistic classifiers. Linear classifiers are, classify, are, are further classified into su support vector machines and neural networks. Probabilistic classifiers are further classified into naive base, Bayesian networks, and maximum entropy. Lexicon-based approach is further categorized into dictionary-based approach and corpus-based approach. And corpus-based approach is classified into statistical and semantic. The two types of machine learning approaches is supervised learning approach and unsupervised learning approach. In supervised learning approach, the output categories are already known. Before the raw data or test data that is to be classified is provided, a feature set called training data set is provided. The algorithm first learns how the data is labeled to the output categories. Once the algorithm learns how to map the data, it performs classification on the raw data set. In unsupervised learning approach, no training data set is provided. The algorithm has to adopt itself gradually and then find correlations to classify the data. It is generally used for clustering. In supervised learning approach, there are two steps. The first step is the training. In the training, a sample data set is first fed and its features are extracted and labeled. The second step is the actual classification. The classification uses the labels that were got during the training and then classifies the input data. In my project, I use the Stanford movie data set for training. I implemented the supervised machine learning algorithm because 
here the output classifier is already known namely a negative or positive review the algorithms which i have used are naive base support vector machine random forest maximum entropy decision tree and glm net let us look at these algorithms in detail the naive base algorithm the naive base algorithm uses probability of bayes theorem on the likelihood of classifying both input and output labels max entropy the max entropy classifier is a classifier which depends on exponential models unlike the naive base classifier this classifier does not depend on the assumption that the features are conditionally independent of each other support vector machine it is a supervised method for classification and outlier detection based on five fold validation it uses training points in the decision function to model the data decision tree is a parameter less method which creates a model that predicts by simple decision rules which are inferred from the data features it approximates a sine curve by using conditional statements if the tree is deep the decision rules become more complex random forest it uses a divide and conquer approach to improve the performance of classifiers basically the approach used here is that the weak learners will combine to form a strong learner random forest uses decision trees to overfit the training data set glm net it uses maximum likelihood to compute the sparsity of the input matrix these algorithms work on the cyclic coordinate descent to optimize the detached functions on other parameters till they converge again it uses the linear regression model to measure the performance of the various algorithms these are the evaluation matrices that were used accuracy accuracy is the total number of correct classification divided by the total number of cases it is given by the sum of true positive and true negative upon the sum of true positive true negative false positive and false negative precision precision is the total percentage of correctly labeled input data it is given by true positive upon the sum of true positive and false positive recall recall is the percentage of labeled input data that is correctly identified it is also known as sensitivity it is given by true positive upon the sum of true positive and false negative f score or f measure is the harmonic mean of recall and precision for sentiment analysis f score is one of the most important parameters now let us look at the code i've implemented using r programming here as you can see naive base is implemented the confusion matrix is calculated and the various parameters are determined in the same way the other supervised learning algorithms are implemented as well here random forest is implemented maximum entropy is implemented decision tree is implemented svm is implemented and glm net is implemented here the formal tests are performed and we also perform a k fold validation here k is 3 on the right you can see the you can see the training set and its results on the console you can see some of our observations
what I've observed is, while the accuracy of naive base is less than that of other algorithms, its F-score, which is the harmonic mean of precision and recall, is much higher. Hence, it is more suitable for sentiment analysis. Additionally, I observed that while the precision for SVM, random forest, decision tree and GLM net is high, its performance degrades when large data sets are concerned. Maximum entropy has both good accuracy and F-score. However, it is harder to implement than naive base. To confirm my results, I also performed a K-fold validation. As you can see, the observed values are fairly consistent. In conclusion, only accuracy doesn't matter while measuring performance. Other matrices are equally important. Overall, we see that naive base and max entropy are the most efficient algorithm. However, since naive base is simpler to implement and requires less computing power, it is preferred.